Hello, graduates. It's Michael Milde, Dean of Arts and Humanities. And it is a great honor to congratulate the graduating class of 2021. You have just done something really amazing. You completed your degrees under the most extraordinary conditions in living memory. This, this is what it feels like to graduate in the middle of historic events. Odd, uncomfortable, sometimes really boring, and sometimes really exhilarating. You deserve to feel very proud. You have accomplished incredible things and you have acquired a unique sense of your capacity for creativity and resilience. Well done indeed. It has been quite a year and I hope you are able to take some well-deserved time off and then get ready for that stimulating future that surely lies ahead of you. Please know that you leave Western with our deep admiration and best wishes. Stay in touch and please share your stories with us. We wanna know what happens next. Congratulations graduates and take care. Hello arts and humanities grads 2021. Congratulations. Emma, what do you wanna to say to the graduating class of 2021? That seems like good advice. Celebrate the win of getting through this year. This has probably been the hardest year I've ever taught. And if I was a student, I cannot even imagine what a struggle it would have been, but you made it, you did it. Um, celebrate yourselves, enjoy your special day. I'll be there with you actually. Um, I'm getting a teaching award, so I'll be there on the Zoom with you and I'll celebrate you in person, live, virtually, whatever the heck we're calling it. Um, and remember that the experience of going through this year, the stress and struggle of going through this year um, will build resilience, has built resilience that will stand you in wonderful stead for the rest of your careers. So once again, congratulations. Um, don't forget to beg for treats on a regular basis because you deserve them. All right, so this is for all of the students in medieval studies or English or any of the courses that I have taught and to all of you, those of you that I have not taught either. Um, best wishes uh, as you head forward into the future. Um, and I guess slante is the correct term. No, probably not, but something like that. Um, and congratulations. Um, as Marshal for Convocation, I used to have to say things like, put your hood over your right arm with the silks to the wrist. No, that would be your other right arm. Um, and I'm happy to say that I didn't have to say that more frequently to arts and humanities students than to any other group. Um, although arts and humanities students tended not to be able to do the straight line the way the engineering students did. <laughs> so try to picture yourselves in a straight line heading in for your moment of glory on the stage that we're all looking forward to being a part of in the future. Hello, graduates. Read your books and then exercise so that the legs feed the wolf, but their legs feed the brain too. Anyways, Albert and I wish you the very best on your future careers. Hello, class of 2021. Wow, to say you've made it. It's been a really difficult year, but I can say that I've honestly been astounded and so, so proud to see how much dedication and resilience and creativity students have brought um, into their studies this year. You have a whole new stage of your life in front of you. So go be amazing. Congratulations. To all the students, whether this is your first degree or your third degree, félicitations, congratulations. To the graduating class of 2021, congratulations, félicitations, bravo. Even through these most challenging times, you did it. Congratulations, class 2021, on your well-deserved success. Even though graduation is going to look different for you, your achievement is still the same. You have put in the same hard work, and you have learned and grown so much. I'm sure today will be only the first of many proud and successful moments for you. Congratulations, class of 2021. You're a special generation. As you know, you've completed your education almost entirely online with the pandemic in the foreground. And this is a time of tremendous political and social change, and it's unmatched certainly in my lifetime. And yet I think this is a time 
that is leading us to some tremendous new challenges and opportunities. And I think it's you who will help lead the way. So I say go for it and take us with you. One of the nicest things about this job, about being a teacher, is that every once in a while, a student will write and say, yeah, you made a difference in my life. Here's a message I got just recently. Uh, it was a pleasure being a student in your course. It makes all the difference to have a professor who cares about their students and is genuinely passionate about the material they are teaching. And I thought to myself, well, if we're good, it's because, well, we're good. We take our jobs seriously and we work very hard at it. But we're better and we're at our best uh, because of the students that we teach. If we're passionate, if we're fearless, if we're capable of showing our students a different and better version of the world around us, uh, especially at this moment in time, especially with things like the events that just transpired in BC, it's because of our students' presence in the classroom, their dedication to education, and above all, to not accepting things as they are. The classroom isn't just four walls and computers and, and books. It's the experience, the labor, the learning, the life that transpires within and beyond those limits. That's what students bring to us as teachers. It's a kind of sacred duty that we share with one another. But above all, it's because of our students. And for that, I say thank you and congratulations. Hi there, John Hatch here. I'm the chair of Visual Arts, and I'm here to congratulate the class of 2021. You made it. You survived through a, a pandemic in your final year with most of your education being done online. Yet, oddly enough, some of you still managed to be late for class. Uh, the fact that most of the students I know wear sweatpants anyway uh, didn't necessarily change the dress code. I certainly got to know your names since during the synchronous classes that tended to be the only thing I saw of you uh, during my classes. So I would probably have a hard time recognizing you in person. Now all that said, congratulations, you survived, you made it, you're a graduate of 2021 and I wish you all the best for the future, a future which thank goodness should be pandemic free. I'm Madeline Bassnett, undergraduate chair in the Department of English and Writing Studies. And on behalf of the department, I want to say a huge congratulations to our graduating class. It's been a challenging couple of years. I don't have to say that. What with online classes, endless Zooms, recurring lockdowns, and graduating this year is an incredible achievement. I so wish we could be celebrating you in person, but I want you to know that we are all cheering you on as you move into the world with all your brilliant skills and talents. Congratulations to the entire class of 2021. You've managed to get through a crazy adventure of a year, and now it's time to celebrate. Congratulations, we're so proud of you. The real good. What is the real good, I asked in amusing mood. Order, said the law court. Knowledge, said the school. Truth, said the wise men. Pleasure, said the fool. Love, said the maiden. Beauty, said the page. Freedom, said the dreamer. Home, said the sage. Fame, said the soldier. Equity, said the seer. Spack my heart fully sad. The answer is not here. Then within my bosom softly this I heard. Each heart holds the secret. Kindness is the word. As you leave the academy, seeking order, knowledge, truth, pleasure, love, beauty, freedom, home, and equity, remember to be kind. One, congratulation. This was probably the hardest year of your studies, but you did it. So you're graduating now, so it's time to celebrate. Celebrate wisely and embrace all the future projects that you have waiting for you. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Please keep in touch. Uh, we're very proud of you. Congratulations again. Chicos, ya se están graduando. Felicidades, lo lograron. Les deseamos lo mejor en todos sus futuros proyectos. Y no se vayan a olvidar de nosotros, que siempre nos gusta saber dónde andan. Cuídense mucho. Suerte.
Hi, 2021 Western Arts and Humanities grads. Congratulations on finishing your degrees. This is such an amazing accomplishment and you all have worked so hard and been so determined in such a difficult year. On behalf of the Department of Gender, Sexuality and Women's Studies, congratulations. We're so proud of you. We know that you're gonna continue to go on to do amazing things. Bonjour. Au nom du département d'études françaises, j'aimerais féliciter tous nos finissants et leur souhaiter la meilleure des chances dans toutes leurs entreprises. Bravo! Dear students, I would like to congratulate you all on your graduations. You have worked very hard in your studies. From now on, you are no longer students of languages and cultures. In this new stage of your lives, you are citizens of the world. Use your talents to keep learning. Apply what you learn. Make connections to see new things. This is the value of life after graduation. Queridos estudiantes, quiero felicitarlos a todos por sus graduaciones. Han trabajado mucho en sus estudios. A partir de ahora, dejarán de ser estudiantes de lenguas y culturas En esta nueva etapa de sus vidas, son ciudadanos del mundo. Utilicen sus talentos para seguir aprendiendo. Apliquen lo que aprendan. Hagan conexiones para ver cosas nuevas. Este es el valor de la vida después de la graduación. Hi, I'm Chris Rolston from French Studies and Gender Studies. I wanted to wish you my warmest congratulations on your graduation and for getting through this at time very challenging COVID year. I know it wasn't always easy, but you made it. Here you are. So well done. And I wish you all the very best in your future projects. Dear students, I want to congratulate you on your graduation from Western. It's been a long four years for most of you, especially under the unexpected circumstances of a global pandemic. But at the same time, if you're like I was as an undergraduate, it's also gone by in the blink of an eye. It's an uncertain time, but times are often uncertain. Successive generations of students have lived through two world wars, the Great Depression, the Cold War, and so on. What we can be most proud of, perhaps, is that in every generation, there have been people who have fought to create a better, more sustainable, more equitable world. Whether it's through founding organizations like the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament, Zero Population Growth, Greenpeace, or the National Organization for Women, to take a few rather randomly selected change-focused groups, or through more contemporary uses of social media to influence people's habits and behaviors and to critique institutions and governments that do not work for the public good, university graduates have gone out hopefully into the world determined to make change and to fight for social justice. Whether your ambitions are large or small, world-changing, or simply about building good local communities or just happy small families and friendship networks, we hope that your time at Western has equipped you with the skills you need for your future. Critical thinking, the ability to do research, strong communication skills, an understanding of intersectionality and other factors that affect people's access to social justice, these are all important and will serve you well in the future. Enjoy your day, celebrate your achievements, and stay in touch. We care about you, about what you have already achieved, and about what you will achieve in the future. Congratulations. I wanted to send out my warmest congratulations on your success this year. It has been a roller coaster of a ride, but you've stuck to it and seen it through to the end. You've been creative, you have worked hard, and you have stuck to it. And I can tell you this, your professors have been standing in awe of your accomplishments this year. It's true, we won't be able to be on Western's beautiful campus for convocation, but remember that you are always welcome back. We would never forgive you if you didn't come back and knock at our office doors and go outside and take beautiful pictures in front of University College. You can do that anytime. So celebrate, congratulations, and don't forget that you can come back to Western. Many congratulations to all our graduating students. Class of 2021, you're so bright, 
that we need sunglasses. Don't be strangers. Non perdiamoci di vista. In, In bocca al lupo. lupo. Congratulations, class of 2021. You made it through four difficult years and probably the most difficult year you have had in your life. You now set out on a new road, all kinds of avenues ahead of you. I wish you the best of luck. You should be very proud of yourselves. Congratulations, class of 2021. You've had a really rough road, but you made it. We're very proud of you, and you should be equally proud of yourselves. Hey, class of 2021, you did it. Congratulations on adapting to all the challenges of the past year and, well, year and a half, really. You've been amazing and resilient, and as you leave Western, I can't wait to see how you make your mark on this world because I know you're going to be great. Convocation has always been, for me at least, a chance to sit in the auditorium and be able to reflect on everything that you have accomplished so far. For once in your life, there's no more deadlines, no more due dates, no more assignments, and you can just pat yourself on the back and be proud of everything that you've done. Well, there's no auditorium this year, but I hope you can find a comfy chair and some snacks and pat yourself on the back and be proud all the same, because you're amazing and I can't wait to see how far you'll go in the world. Congratulations again. We're all so very proud of you. Hey class of 2021, this was a tough year, but you made it through and you excelled. Congratulations. Congratulations, Congratulations Arts and Humanities class of 2021. In achieving your goals this year, you've shown us all what courage is, what compassion is, what determination is. It has been an honor to be in the classroom with you. It has been a privilege to teach you and to learn from you. I hope you take time now to celebrate your accomplishments as you deserve. I wish you every good thing as you move out into the world and please keep in touch. To the class of 2021. From all of us in Act Number Counseling. Congratulations. We'll miss you. Well done. Keep in touch. On behalf of the Department of Languages and Cultures, congratulations, class of 2021. What a challenging experience you have lived and made it happen. Keep in touch. Best of luck. Enhorabuena. Nuestros mejores deseos para todos vosotros. Congratulations, Arts and Humanities class of 2021. This past year has not been an easy one, and you've made it through and completed your degree. I'd like to wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Arts and Humanities class of 2021. We are proud of you, and we can't wait to hear about your exciting next adventures. We hope that you keep in touch, that you don't forget us. We're never going to forget you. We um, are very excited to see what you do next. So take care, keep in touch, come back and visit, and all the best. <laughs>